My name is Candace Smith and I'm a magazine publisher. I have a magazine called Fatabulous Magazine and it's been out for about 10 years now. I also have two community magazines called Pasco Connect Magazine and Duval Connect Magazine. And I work with a lot of great people that produce a lot of conversations that's needed in, in those communities. Um, but it's not easy. You know, it has not been easy to continue. And yes, I have asked myself over the past couple of years, like, why am I doing this? Why do I do this? I homeschool as well, which I've been doing for about five years. So my working life and my home life often just intertwines. And it's been a process just breaking down this very structured way of doing things that I had for a very long time to unlearning that to, you know, building my own system that works for me and my family. And so, um, yeah, I love it though. I love being able to experience so much of my children. Whereas when I worked and they were in school, you know, I realized I missed a lot of things with my older two children. And um, since I've been working from home since, my youngest son has been born I've been able to just be in his life in a way that I was not able to with my older two children and I did find myself for the past few years just mending repairing reconstructing and tearing down you know a lot of things that didn't serve a magazine is a community and a lot of people don't understand that. They think as long as I am focused on one group of people and I make my magazine about them and I have images, um, you know, in a steady stream of content, then I have put together a magazine. But there are ways and things that I was taught about a magazine that I want to share. Where's your notebook? A magazine is not a newspaper. Find it. A magazine is it. not about that make just reporting that know the it's news. At. It's not meant to come out like the news every day to report to you the who, what, when, and where of an event. That's what a newspaper does. It keeps you informed. It's going to tell you nothing but the facts. If you look at the basic newspaper articles, they're going to list the facts. That reporter is not going to share his personal thoughts, his or her personal thoughts and opinions. They're not going to tell a story. They're going to report the facts. A magazine is different. We don't just report the who, what, when, where. We report that, but we spend the majority of the time on the why. Right now, I'm currently finishing up the next issue of Duval Connect Magazine. And within Duval Connect, which is based out of Jacksonville, Florida, my hometown, um, I work with a lot of great people. I work with um, Tiffany Funches. She's the editor-in-chief of the magazine. Sateria Barney. She is the graphic designer of the magazine. And there is an entire team of writers and contributors to the magazine. In this issue, we're honoring um, 
Girls Inc., which is an organization that promotes um, wholeness within young girls by empowering them, um, offering support with education, offering support with emotional development, transitions in life, in their young lives. So we have a lot of the um, magazine dedicated to Girls Inc. This issue honoring them and the work that they've done in Jacksonville, Florida. One of our contributors, Diamond um, Wallace, um, did a really great interview with the president, the current interim president of Girls Inc., Alexis Howard, and you can find that on YouTube, and a portion of it will be in the next issue. The cover of the next Duval Connect magazine is going to a woman that has left a very big but silent imprint on the fashion community, not just in Jacksonville, but literally all over the world. And her name is Cindy Noisette. And I met Sin um, years ago um, when she was with I One Fashion, running I One Fashion. And I was able to write an article about um, her fashion show, uh, she debuted a plus size woman, which at that time I only had Fat Tabulous magazine. And so that kind of like sparked my interest in her or just made me see her. And from there, it's been nothing but history. We've continued to run into each other one way or another, um, you know, uh, just with her working with different people that I ended up networking with and meeting. Tiffany is one of those people. We've collaborated on a few projects together in the past before she got with Duval Connect Magazine and her and Cindy already had a tight friendship. And so it just made sense to bring her in on projects and um, one of the greatest covers that ever debuted out of Jacksonville, Florida was Duval Connect cover um, promoting and highlighting and spotlighting the first uh, recognized Miss Juneteenth. And so that was phenomenal. That was amazing. That was a very, very good experience. Um, I've also worked with Cindy um, with some other fashion shows. Um, with RDB Fashion Group, we ended up in Lakeland together and I was able to interview her for that as well. Um, outside of our experiences, she definitely done her thing in the fashion world. You know, she's traveled all over the place. She's styled many people. She's been in many magazines. Um, her work has been everywhere. And so this article was basically an opportunity to see the designer because a lot of times you see a designer through their designs, but you never know anything really about the greatest designers. You know, their communication comes through their fashion and she's definitely one of those women that, or designers that allows her fashion and her work to speak for her. representation of me and the models really represent well so it's a, it's a it's a really great feeling to put in all the work I sold everything with my two hands um, a lot of hard work and then to see the models in the garments 
looking beautiful, being excited, bringing your vision to life is everything. Absolutely. So tell us a little bit about the collection. Um, it's kind of a little bit of everything. Um, it's, you got the casual, you got the really classy Barbie stuff. It's kind of who I am. The classy, the laid back, you know, the happy, and then like I love my black, I love my colors. It's your black woman, you know, representation. So you basically got a sample of a black woman's closet that you're showing to your ear. Yes. All right, I love it. So where can we find your style? You can find me online. I have a website. It's at www.sinstylefashions.com. You can find me on Instagram, sinstyle underscore one, or on um, Facebook, Sinstyle Fashions. Thank you. Oh, my God.